Hi guys, uh, it's Duncan again, and uh, today I want to update you a little bit on uh, especially right today we are in our Otikacho garden. This is uh, our vegetable garden that we are doing right here at home. Right now it is uh, a dry season. People are being hit by a dry spell at the moment, so hard, and uh, there's no uh, people's maize are drying and. There's no water, there's no natural rain. So I want to just show you the beauty of uh, irrigation. First year we are, we are not being hit by the sun because we have the irrigation system that we have set up. As you see, we have the drip lines here. And uh, over the time we have, we have, we have done, uh, see we have planted some uh, onions there. We have some cabbage here. We have some, uh, tomatoes there so basically this is the beauty of drip irrigation for sustainability and uh, production constantly uh, of seasonal production you need to go into drip irrigation system or any form of irrigation so that you are able to produce over the, the, the dry season now <clears throat> right now if we are planning to sell this off and during dry season for farmers you can reap a bigger income from your crops, especially during when the, uh, the dry season is, is going on because the price of, of the food products will be so high. So I really want, want to encourage everyone to get involved in the drip irrigation system because it's more sustainable. You can actually do, you grow crops throughout the year without being obstructed by the sun. And I advise you don't really rely much on the on the, uh, the rain because this natural rain is, is unpredictable. Sometimes these guys are weather forecast, they might tell you it's going to rain in the coming one week, but you find that it's not actually working out. So I want to show you some of the basic things we are doing during this dry season. Uh, you see, we have set up our drip lines, they're here and our crop, the cabbage here is doing so well. You can see here, the cabbages are doing so well because they have constant supply of water, uh, even during this, they are not feeling the heat, just like when they are saying in the Bible, uh, like a tree planted down around the, the riverside. When the, the heat comes, they won't feel it. They are not feeling the heat because we have the drip system. And uh, the onions is also there. And uh, here we have, apart from drip irrigation, another way we are managing the the water stress is we have actually mulched this garden so thick, if you can see. So these are just the, the, the grass we have slashed from the compound. We are blessed with a lot of grasses around, especially in our compound we have a lot of this. These are part of pasparam, some little bit of nut grass. So we have slashed this with the machine and it's what we are using right now to, to mulch our garden. It's, it's really so thick. You can see, you can see here, it has retained a lot of moisture. So we can just water this once, maybe twice a week or three times a week. So this grass is able to keep this moisture in the soil. And uh, these tomatoes won't really find, they won't feel the heat. That is really heating so hard right now. So, as you can see, these are the beauty of, of doing the, the irrigation system, especially during dry season. So, I want to also show you what we are doing here. Um, as you can see, this level of, of tomato is really, they are a little bit older than this one. So, here we are trying to grow this crop in shift, so that we, have, we can have constant production. After a full harvest of this, when this one is getting done, we find that like this one is, is starting to give us fruit, so we shall always be investing this one. So later we shall uh, create more, more space the other side. When this one reaches a certain age, we are going to plant more, so that we have constant production in, the, in this field. It's more of sustainability. You want to produce throughout. Doesn't mean if this one gets finished, you need to wait. And this is planted uh, like uh, one month ago. And this is planted like uh, two weeks later after the other one. And we are just having a gap of two weeks so that we have constant production throughout. So that's all I wanted to update for you today.
please subscribe to my youtube channel as usual and then we are able to i'll update you more on more technicalities on how you can do this for any inquiries you can always have my whatsapp number is always on my youtube channel please subscribe or maybe you can text me on whatsapp and i'll be able to help you out on how to get this thing started thank you so much i really appreciate your comments those who are commenting please continue to ask the question and i'll always reply immediately thank you i really appreciate it